So let's talk about this statement right here. There's always someone better. This is an often misunderstood statement here. So let's get into what it actually means. Some people think it means, oh, well, there's always someone better. But the problem with the statement is there's ultimately someone at the very top that there can't be anyone better than because they're at the top. Because there's a finite population, you're eventually going to get to someone who is the best of the best, and no one is better than that person, and then the statement falls apart. But when we look at it the way it's actually intended, the statement doesn't fall apart. See, today, someone could be better than me because I'm sick. Or someone could be worse than someone else because, you know, they hurt themselves that day. The saying there's always someone better doesn't mean that there's someone that is definitively better than you all the time. What it means is that you never know who's going to be better than you. The guy who has never been in a fight in their entire life could be better than you on the day you happen to face them. So it has nothing to do with someone's just ultimately better than you. It means that you could run into someone and you're just having an off day and get your butt handed to you by someone with no fight experience at all whatsoever. Everyone has off days. Everyone has days where they're just absolutely on point beyond their normal, you know, what their normal state uh, state would be. So there's always someone better means that the person who's worse than you could be better than you tomorrow and then worse than you the day after that. That's what this meaning really means. So in other words, even you find the ultimate fighter that no one can, can ever possibly beat, they can have an off day and someone could be better than them the very next day.